All right, we're live. Happy Wednesday, guys. I am super excited to dive into launch plan for nine week control freak. Those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan Blinka. I've been coaching for six and a half years. So I have launched many programs over the last six years and launches are my favorite. They're my favorite for so many reasons. Um, I'll give you a little bit of a backstory. Back in 2016, when Court of Force was launching, I stood in my kitchen and I threw a little bit of a hissy fit to my husband. And I said to him, I so wish I was in the Court of Force test group. And he was like, what's so special about a test group? I was like, because the people who are in test groups get the best results. And when you get the best results, you get to you know, recruit the most people and you have the best launch and you can get more coaches on board. And he looked at me and he was like, so make your own launch party. And I was like, huh. Son of a gun, like here I am throwing a fit that I didn't get to be in corporate's test group. But in reality, all it is is results, right? It's your results that you post and you share and it's your excitement. And that's what you share with people that's like, oh my God, whatever she's doing, I want a little piece of that. So when he said that to me that day, back in 2016, I was like, okay, I'm going to get the best results. So I went all in with the quarter force. I made a launch plan. I was very strategic in what I posted and when I posted it. And I went all in with the nutrition plan. I posted my results every single Tuesday with a side-by-side, -side, like day one, day one to day, what was it, eight or nine? I think it was one, nine, 16, 23. Like I did it every seven days. And because I held myself accountable to it, I got really good results. Because I got really good results, I had a ton of people who wanted to join me. Because I had so many people who wanted to join me, those people got results and then those people started coaching and the ripple effect began. And it was then that I realized that you actually do not need to be in corporate test group to have a really successful launch with a new program. You could do this at any point in the year with any program that we offer. The cool thing about a launch is nobody else has done it yet. Sure, there's a handful of people who have done it, but the bulk of us, right? No one's done it yet. So it's brand new. Nobody's getting it from somebody else. Nobody's, you know, tried it and failed at it already. It is brand new, which gives everybody a level playing field and everybody an opportunity to go all in and strategically launch this program and really allow it to be something to boost your business. So I'm going to show you guys a little launch plan here that I made. So let me share my screen. I have a whole bunch of things up. Hmm. Wait, hold on here. I don't have that option on my, let me try again. Maybe I minimized it. Launch party checklist. There it is. Sorry, guys. I don't know why when I went to share screen, it didn't give me that option. Here it is. All right. So this is my checklist. Literally this exact same Canva I created years ago. And it's the same general. Let me make that bigger. Is that bigger for you guys? Can you guys see that? It's the same general plan that I follow. Now, it doesn't matter if you've not done anything yet for Control Freak. To be honest, I haven't done a whole lot until today. And I did most of it today because I was like, I want to be able to tell everybody tonight what I'm doing. So this stuff, and I can drop this image. You can take a screenshot of it. I can drop the image into the team pages here later tonight. Um, but you can start today. You can start in a week if you really wanted to. But the idea is to do, you know, strategically line this stuff up and have a funnel of where you're going to be putting everybody, where you're going to be sending people to learn more information. Now, if you look at this and you're like, well, too much information, listen and soak it in and then think, what can you realistically apply to your own business? So I'll run through these things as I'm going. If you have questions about it, by all means, drop it in the chat and I will check that here in a little bit. But the very first thing is having an info group for people to go. Now, if you're not using Facebook, maybe this is a bod group. Maybe you're going to put all of this stuff into a bod group and you're going to funnel people into your bod group. Maybe it is going to be an Instagram account where you say nine week control freak sneak peek by coach Megan. I don't know. That'd be a super long Instagram handle, but you can make up your own. You could do everything that I'm talking about and everything I'm sharing on an Instagram page. I personally have it in a Facebook group just because that's what I've always done. But feel free to adapt this to whatever style works best for you. But this is where everyone goes for more information. This is where I will constantly direct people back to whether I'm sending an email, whether I'm putting a link in my Instagram, whether I'm putting a link on a Facebook post, whether I'm putting something in an email, everything, a blog post, everything directs people back to this info group. 
In this Facebook info group, I use the question feature. So it asks, do you have a coach, right? Like first thing, I wanna make sure that the people who I am inviting into this group don't already work with a different coach or, you know, and then I say, and if you do, who is it? Cause I do open this up to my, my entire team. So it might be somebody else on my team, but I first ask, do you have a coach? Do you have Beachbody on demand? And there's a third question, like what are you most excited about with this program or something like that? But the idea, oh no, email, I'm sorry, it's the email, it's the email address. So do you have a coach already, your email address, and do you have Beachbody on demand? Um, so I asked those three questions. Right now I have a couple people pending to get into my group. They didn't give me their email yet. I don't know if I invite, like if they got it from one of my posts or if somebody else in my team invited them, but I don't let them in that group until they give me their email. And a couple reasons. For one, I don't want someone to get lost in the Facebook group. I want to be able to still be able to follow up with them in another way other than the group. I ask for the email because you'll see here that I'm going to be sending some informational email as well. So create the Facebook group or your you know, Instagram group or somewhere where you're going to be holding your people and giving them information about the program. The next thing I do is I set up an email drip series. So an email drip series is basically an automated email campaign. Um, it may sound fancy, but I promise you it's really simple. Um, if you use this email server like Flowdesk, which is what I use, it's called a workflow. Um, it's not called drip. I actually don't think any email server I've used has ever called it drip. That's just what people would refer it to. So that's what I learned it as. What a drip series is, is once somebody gives me their email address, and I add them into this email address, they get a series of emails that talk about the program. So it's like, thanks for your interest in Nine Week Control Work Creek. And I have like email one talks about who Autumn is and what the program is. You know, email two says, you know, here's some key dates to know. And then email three is here is, you know, the group where you're gonna get all the information for the launch. But I'm gonna take them back to, again, this Facebook group up top. So I've got their email, I'm giving them more information, but they're also going back to this Facebook group. I don't know about you guys, but I have some customers who are diligent with emails, but don't check a Facebook notification. And then I have some people who are on it in my group, but then they're not ever responding to an email. So this is kind of covering my basis to make sure that I am there giving them the information that they would need. So Facebook groups, you have a holding place, email drip, and then I also begin an email list. So anybody, who has given me their email, they all have a certain tag in my email server that says this person was interested in nine week control freak. A lot of the people are prior customers. That's awesome, love a repeat customer. Um, and then some people are brand new, but I tag them that way so that I know who they are. Um, and then I can directly email them, maybe a little bit more than I would email like the rest of my people letting them know that a program's coming because these people already said, hey, I'm interested in that program. The next thing here is a Google form. Um, and this just gathers information about the, the person who's interested. So because somebody on Instagram may not really be in, uh, requesting to join a Facebook group, right? Like I, I run into that quite often where somebody on Instagram doesn't necessarily wanna be in Facebook. Um, so in my Instagram bio, and I'll show you guys that here, but in my Instagram bio, I use this Google form. And I actually have it. Let me stop the share and I'll just exactly show you guys what I'm talking about so you can see the form I use here. Oh, I have to exit full screen maybe. Um, I need control freak. Okay, I don't know if I can, can I switch screens while I'm sharing that? I'm not sure if. Okay, can you guys see the, the form? So super simple, all I did is I went to my 10 rounds info form, I made a copy of it, and then I just changed the information out. So the cool thing about launches is once you've done it once, you can do it over and over and over again just by changing the information. So I grabbed one of Autumn's pictures and I just put this here, talked about here's the program. You can get a first look here. This is that Vimeo link that they dropped. Um, it was in the Coach Online office yesterday or the seventh, Monday. Um, and it just talks, that's Autumn kind of giving her a little download what the program is about. And all I'm catching is, their name, their email, some way that I can kind of follow them on social media, whether or not I'm their coach or they have a coach, um, and then how they found out this opportunity and do they have bots. So this is just me collecting a little bit of information from them. Now, what I do with this, again, I take that when they fill out this form, they then go back into that drip, right, that I just talked about. I don't know if I can, if I switch to this. Can you guys see the launch checklist now? Okay, cool. So, Maybe make it bigger instead of go, oh, I went full screen. Okay, so the Google form, they give me their email. They're getting added to this strip. 
in the drip, the drip directs them back to the Facebook group. So it's again, all a lot of repeated information, but it's all directing back to this Facebook group. Now I kept this part on here just because typically we have a sample workout. So in general, that's one of the things that I use in launch parties um, or like, you know, launching a new program. Obviously we didn't have that with this one. So it's a little bit different, but I didn't want to edit this checklist because I, like I said, this is the exact same thing that I use every time um, that I use that I'm doing a launch. So I left this one in here. Obviously we don't have that for this particular one. Um, also an ad on social media. I haven't done an ad for like a really long time, um, but I used to always do an ad leading up to a program. Um, this is not something you have to do. So again, I'm leaving all the options up here for you guys. This is, I actually, I started, um, I wrote a blog post today about the program and I'm like, should I, should I try to make an ad out of this blog post? Um, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do, but if an ad is something that you've ever done, like if you're brand new, you're like, I'm not doing an ad, I don't even know what she's talking about. But if you've been around for a while, maybe you've ran an ad before, um, this is a great way to connect with people who maybe are familiar with the program, have done an autumn program before, but they don't have a coach anymore, or their coach quit, and now here you are. So ads are another option to look into. Again, haven't done one for a really long time, haven't decided if I'm doing one for this one or not, but I do think if it's something you do with your business, it would be a great opportunity to do one with the launch. Then I create IG stories. Um, I created one yesterday where I just share, I'm trying to think, I think it's probably off my stories now because I did it around this time yesterday. But I did a little IG story yesterday where it showed like here are your options for December. You can be a part of my, um, my, Holiday survival group, my holiday, I call it a holiday survival group. We want to thrive through a holiday. So you can be a part of my holiday group. You can be a part of my launch party prep group for the newest program, or you can learn more about coaching on my team. So I did a little IG Canva stories where I talked about kind of what the options are for December because I have my holiday group still going on because not everybody's going to want to do nine week control freak, but I also have this opportunity to launch a program. So I kind of started with that. And then what I'll do next is I am going to pull, you know, the like YouTube video where like, we would have seen like the first glimpse into what nine week control freaks about. It's like usually about a minute long. You can find it in the back office. Maybe I'll show you guys here when we're done with this, but it is a video where you can actually, I've done it two different ways. I pulled it up on my phone and just screen recorded on my phone and put the screen recording on Instagram stories. I think there's also a way you can download the Vimeo link from the back office, but the sizzle video, which is just beach bodies, little one minute, here's what's coming with nine week control freak. You can use that on your stories. I've seen a couple people doing it already. I think Tasia, um, Tasia Verno, she had that up on her stories the other day. And I was like, oh, I haven't done that yet. Like hey, make a note, that's something that I can use. Where it just gives people four, you know, 15 second clips that show little bits about what the program is all about. So another thing I remember seeing, and it happened with, I wanna say, was it, the 10 rounds, there was a launch recently where when a lot of people posted before and after pictures, Facebook accounts were getting like flagged for posting all these before and after pictures so so often. It was like, whoa, what's going on? All these, all these like same people were, or not the same, a lot of people were posting the same things. So I don't like to post like a big, like a downloaded group of before and after pictures into my like Facebook page, but I'll use them in stories. So, and I pulled them already. I'm trying to think if it's still up on my screen. In the back office, why don't I show you guys that? So let's stop there. Let me show you, because it's up here. In the back office, there's the, the program materials, the marketing for this program has a whole zip drive of before and afters. So those are there that we get to use. So that's like the people who were in the test group that rocked it, got really good results. I'll use those in my stories. You know, they have men, they have women, they have, you know, younger people, they have older, they have all age ranges where it gives you an opportunity to showcase to people, yes, these aren't my results, but these are what the other people did, and this is what's inspired me, and this is what I'm gonna go do next. So let me show you guys where you can find that. Because I feel like whenever people used to say to me, like, oh, it's in the back office, I used to be like, that back office is so big, and I have no idea how to find what you're talking about. So let's see. Sorry to make me log in again. I will just show you guys. <clears throat> waiting, waiting. I'll check the chat. So is there anything in here? Checklist, doing an ad. Yeah, doing an ad. Oh, look, 
nine week control freak. I don't know what that was. So what is it? Grow my business project product tools and shareable media. Am I sharing my screen still? Cause I'm doing this and thinking you guys can see me. So someone needs to be like, yo, you're not even sharing your screen. My goodness. Sorry guys. It's past getting to my bedtime. All right, let's try this again. Goodness. Okay, now can you share, see my screen? Okay. Yes. Gosh, I'm such a rookie. Okay, um, nine-week control freak. So all I did, I guess you guys weren't watching because I wasn't sharing my screen. So grow my business, product tools, and shareable media, and that brings you here. And then there's a nine-week control freak product toolkit. And in there, is that, it's not what I clicked. It is not what I clicked, guys. Let's try that again. Nine week control freak. Wait for it. Maybe. I swear I was in here once today. Okay, there we go. So this has a product training guide, a pre order tracker, all the before and afters. So this is where you could, like, if you see people sharing before and afters and you're like, where did these people get them? This is where it is. You can see the different comparisons for the challenge packs. Here, I'm gonna show you guys this in a minute. This is a launch plan. This is that first look video that I had mentioned that since we didn't get the, the sample, they gave us this. And then there's a getting started video. So you can grab all of these. And like with this, it's gonna pop it up. I want that strong fit. But if, it'll open into a new window and then you can pull the Vimeo link down. So this is where I get all of the information to promote the program. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So back to our checklist. So if you want to pull any of that information, you can use that in your IG stories. Um, and then like feel, don't feel like you can only use these things one time. Like share it today. Like we've got what, six days before the program launches? Six, today's Wednesday. Five days. We have five days until the program launches because it launches on Monday. So you could do like a five day countdown when this call ends. Like it's only gonna be nine o'clock. If you're Eastern time, you have plenty of time. You could put something up about five days before this new program. You're super excited. You got to hear from the super trainer tonight. You're, you know, strategizing your game plan. You know, here's a little bit of, you can kind of use some of these before and after things or start to think about how you can promote it. And then if you make those IG stories, use them again, use them in a couple days, three more days to go, two more days tomorrow. But you can keep reusing that type of information. Um, adding links to your link tree or smart bio. So, in your Instagram, hopefully you guys have this or have seen this at some point, you have the opportunity to add one link to your Instagram. So what I have is smart bio. You can have, I had my smart bio up, is it still? No. Um, so I have smart bio, link tree is the same thing, but it gives you the opportunity to have different links. So I added today my link to this Google form, that interest form. So somebody on Instagram doesn't necessarily want to go straight to my Facebook info group, but they might just click the link in my Instagram bio to learn more about the program. So that's the link that I put there. If you have um, a BOD group, you can, you know, do a Google form of any kind that this to me was the easiest way to get people's email info, um, find out if they're working with a coach and connect with them through Instagram. So adding that link, again, not any extra work, it's kind of just repurposing all the same work that we're doing in different places. You're trying to put this in as many eyes and as many spots as you can. And then the next thing here, so we're kind of making our way down this checklist is building up the hype in the info group. Now, again, I'm a little weary of posting a whole bunch of before and afters in the group because I got flagged a while ago. So I haven't put before and after pictures in yet. Um, I did put them on my blog post, but start talking about, you know, like for instance, you could talk, if you were on the call with Autumn tonight, you could post about, oh my gosh, guys, I got to hear directly from Autumn tonight on our team call and she shared and share something that you took away from it. I'm so excited for the people to be able to get their hands on this program on the seventh, you know, drop a gift if you're excited about it or how you feel about the launch of it. And just take the opportunity to build the hype in the info or the interest. A lot of people you may find that join on the seventh, maybe they're your existing coaches. That's okay. That is still new people plugging in, getting engaged with it. And any new coach that joins, whether they are more on the discount side or working coach, make sure that they're talking to their friends, adding their friends into your group um, and inviting them to do it too. Because again, because it's new and nobody's done it yet, it gives everybody an opportunity to be like, oh my gosh, this is what I saw. I'm doing this new program. Do you want to come check it out? Do you want to come do it with me? And I keep everything in that info group. Like that is my go-to place 
for all of my information. Um, something else in that group, adding a place for introductions. So you can have people sharing their names, where they're from, their excitement. I love when I find people, like if I drop the um, intro thing and people start sharing where they're from, it's cool to start seeing those connections start to build in the group of who has, is from the same hometown or same state or same whatever it is and just starting to build that community within the group. Because not all these people who are in this group have purchased, right? Like at this point, nobody has. And the goal is, as you build through this, that you're creating that hype and the excitement and the energy in that group so that then when it's launch day, everybody who's in there wants to be a part of that. Something else that I like to do in the launch group as you're kind of getting closer um, is some form of a giveaway. I do giveaways in my groups all the time. Um, one of the examples, like I said, you can have people who join invite a friend. So maybe you have, you know, invite a friend day where you say anybody who invites five people to join, you know, gets entered into win a giveaway. Maybe you're raffling off some Energize or beach bars or something like that, but getting more people to add into the group. And I will say I had a girl join my um, challenge group last month who came from a crock pot free group that I did in 2016 where somebody added her. So like I looked at our message history and in 2016, I messaged her and I was like, hey, I saw so-and-so added you to our crock pot group. Welcome to the group. And I sent her this Facebook message. And then in 2020, she messaged me about joining my booty boot camp in October. So you never know, it might take a while. Maybe it's not instant. Hopefully it's a little bit faster than that. But it just gives you a way to connect with people who you may not have connected with otherwise. Um, so I love doing something like that in the group that encourages people to invite other people along. Obviously, the other side is that if maybe you have a discount coach or someone who's newly going to enroll as a coach and they add their friends in, it's a great opportunity to introduce them to the coaching, you know, the coaching side of things because they've added a friend in there already. They're already committed to doing the group and inviting someone to do it with them. Um, once we have the workouts, which will have access to the workouts when they launch the 7th, again, keep in mind that we won't have the equipment, so it's going to be a little bit different. Um, but something else I like to do is doing a live, you know, live workout within the group. Again, this works better when you have a sample, but either way, you can still get creative and do something to cultivate that community within the group. And then this part here is key. It's always shouting the people out who commit with it, right? So like, Somebody commits, they, they're, you know, they, they, on the seventh, as people commit, I always have like a Canva template where I'll drop their face in to, again, create that excitement that this person's doing it. I'll put it in my Facebook group where I have all the info and I'll put it on my social media as well. So this is kind of my, my, this is how I go through, um, something else I do and I'll show you guys here. Can I see my screen? A blog post. Okay. So I used to blog religiously when I first started coaching. And I will admit, I do not do it consistently now, but I still do it for launches. Like if you look down like at the bottom where it shows like my posts, I've had like, I mean, I think this kept like, I mean, literally like five this year. This was when 10 rounds came out, 10 rounds, MBF, take back control. So I don't do it as much as I used to, but I still like to have a place where I can summarize the information. I didn't make up any of this. I pulled it all from the back office, images and all. But this gives me the opportunity. I'm actually pinning all these things to Pinterest. Um, I think people still use Pinterest. Um, so I'm going to pin all these things to Pinterest. But for somebody else who's not on Facebook, this gives me something else to give them with information. So I just went through, I like, literally copied it from the one of those info things in the back office that showed. I kind of dropped in a couple of the transformation pictures. Um, you could also do this in a Google form or not Google form, a Google doc. Like you could take all this same thing. If you don't have a blog, let's say you want to be able to connect with people, you know, on, you know, you don't want to use a Facebook group and maybe you're using the Instagram. How do you connect with the opposite? So like I'm using a Facebook group. I can use this to connect with people on Instagram. Maybe you created like an Instagram handle of people who are interested in this. You could use this to connect with people on Facebook. You can take the same type of content and turn it into a Google Doc, make it a PDF, and it's still a shareable tool. But you can send to people, you could email this out. Um, this just talks about you know, all the things that were already shared in different resources. And then it gives them, again, this Google form that I talked about here. And once they fill out the Google form, they go back to the Facebook group. So it's a whole bunch of little pieces that are all intertwined together. What I do is I put everyone in that Facebook group, and then that's kind of like my home base. So I'll go live in that group as we get closer. Um, I actually wrote an email. Um, I haven't like drafted it to hit send, but it'll go out tomorrow. That'll say four more days. So I did one at six days. I sent an email out last night that said six more days until we can take control. Here's a little bit about the program. And then I have another one set to go tomorrow that will say four more days. And I think I said a little bit about 
ottoman there or something like that, or maybe the equipment and like the way the workouts are. No new information, same information that I'm putting in the Facebook group, that I'm putting in my blog post, now we'll go to an email. And I'll email that to all of the customers email list that I have. So anyone who's maybe done a program with me in the last, you know, gosh, I have six years worth of data here, right? I send that out to them. Now they have the option to unsubscribe. So I don't feel like I'm giving them things that they don't want. If they don't want it, they're welcome to not read it or unsubscribe to my emails. But I always get another person or two or three each email I send. So I like to do, I'll do the six, the four. I think when I, I look back on bar blend, I actually did seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Um, so I toned this one down a little bit. I have six, four, two, and then I think I did like tomorrow's the day. And then I think I have one that's gonna be like, it's live. I kind of like mapped it out. I haven't written them all. Um, but just that kind of thing. So it's like, I buy, whatever I put in that email, I'll pop that into the Facebook group. Does that all make sense? Like I talked a whole lot. Let me check the chat bar, see if there's anything else. Yes, I will share the slide when I am done. The email work flurry series you use, do you send that drip to everyone? I will send it to, I will send it to, the drip only goes to people who actually say I want information. So if you come to me and you say, I don't think, I mean, I can probably just show you guys what that says, right? Drips are weird. You can't like share them. Let me see here. Um, I use Flowdesk. Let's see if there's an easy way that I can show you. The workflows are different because you can't like, I don't know if I can show you without editing it. Organize now. Like I'd have to turn it off to turn it back on. The workflows publish. Can I pause it? Pausing will stop all scheduled activities. I'm not gonna do that because I have things in there and I don't wanna lose anything. I will find a way, I'll like send it to myself and I can show you guys exactly what's in there. It's a series of, you know what I could do? Let me see if there's a bar. Cause what I did, I'll pause the bar one. What I did is I took the bar one and I made a copy of it and I used that for this one. So it'll give you the same layout, it's just different content. Um, let me see how to do this here. So. This is how it looks in Flowdesk. Uh, we don't need to do that. Apparently they changed it. So this one talks about bar. It gives you, you know, a reference. This is just a bar, the Beachbody On Demand article. Um, this is the sample. I want you on my list. You can find me on Instagram or Facebook. And here's the group. So this was really just, this is just a real quick, this is about the program and it's directing them back to the group. So that was the first email. So someone says, hey, I'm interested in this bar blend group you're talking about. That's what they would get. And then, see here. So somebody, I would, I would add that tag that they were interested in bar. They would get that first email. And then they would learn, oh, this one, then they learn more about me. So this one has a little thing about me. So you can learn more about me. There's my, you know, like transformation. This is what I do. And then here's a few things that you should know. And like, again, this is more just, this is me. This is who I am. This is how I coach. Um, if you hadn't had a chance, here's the Facebook group. So again, directing them back to that same Facebook group there. I put a picture of the motivation cards. Um, I think, I think I'm pretty sure there's just three. And then this one talks about Elise. So first one was about the program. Second one was about me, who I am. A little bit about my journey in the third one here is all about Elise Jones. So when somebody would say, hey, I'm interested, whether they say it on Facebook, whether they say it on Instagram, I always want their email because then I can add them to this and now I have another way to follow up with them. And all of my communication will always direct people back to the Facebook group. So this, this one was just all about the program. So that's kind of my strategy. And now it's like, okay, well then how do you, like, now we need people, right? Like this only works if you actually have people to talk to and add to lists. So think about it this way. Like I said at the beginning, I went all in with quarter force, all because I needed to prove to myself that I didn't need to be part of corporate test group to be able to launch a program. I just needed to go all in and get results. Because when you're excited, you will generally, ge genuinely, attract more people because of how you, how you carry yourself, how you feel, the words that you say. So at this point, you, no one can do a control free. No one can do anything with a tracker or anything like that. So ask yourself, what are you doing right now? It's like, are you all in right now? Are you excited about your business right now? Because if you're not, chances are you're not going to sell many nine week control freak bundles on the seventh that are going to start at the earliest, the 14th. 
um, you know, 21st with customers. So think about what you're doing. I personally am doing Bar Blend because I love that program and it makes my soul happy. So I'm doing Bar. I can, you know, I am happy. I'm excited. But I'm also going to start now to start introducing people to nine-week control freight. But I'm still going to be getting results and showing people my progress through the program that I'm doing. I'm going to be showing them what I'm eating. And I'm going to be showing my current challengers what I'm doing and then what I'm going to be doing next. In general, your challengers are going to follow what you do. In general, not always. But if you talk about something and you do it, and maybe not initially, but if you do it and get results, then your people are going to follow. A lot of my people right now are doing bar blend because that's what I talk about and that's what I love so much. So if you aren't, like, we can't do nine week control freak yet, but you can attract customers. You can attract, you can build your audience, you can build your interest, you can build your, you know, connections through your social media. So before nine week control freak stuff starts, think about what you're doing. And if you're rocking it, keep rocking it. And if you're not, make sure you choose something that's gonna bring you joy. To me, that's far. Maybe it's MBF. Maybe you wanna get three weeks of MBF in between now and Christmas, right? Like Christmas is on a Friday. You could start nine, you could start an MBF round or a 21 day fix if you wanna to go to autumn. You could do around a 21 day fix from now and finish on the 23rd. Is that dates right? Today's the second. No, Wednesday's over. So if you start tomorrow, on the third, you would wrap up Christmas Eve. You have the opportunity to go all in 21 days with an autumn program, get results with autumn, use the containers like autumn talks about, and use that as a way to say, and then I'm gonna do this program and you can learn more about it here and you can come do it with me here and you can be a part of it here. But what you're doing now really matters because it's how you're gonna carry yourself and the excitement that you're gonna talk about. So you wanna and like, you know, think about it this way, you get people in now, they can do a round of 21 day fix with you. They can, even if it's a current customer, they can get excited and then they'll be ready to join with you to nine week control freak at the end of the month as well. So excited about what you're currently doing. And then when you're talking on social media, again, on Instagram stories, I'm going to throw a call to action out there every single day. Like I did one last night that was like, here's my holiday survival. Here's my nine week control freak. And then here's my um, coaching. So that was last night. Um, after this call, I don't know, maybe I'll talk about how I got to talk to the team about launching a new program. And I'm super excited because of this reason and this reason. And if you want to be a part of our group, respond to this poll or do the little slide bar thing or something on Instagram stories. When I start talking about it on Facebook, under every post that I do, I'll drop the link to that group or I'll tag that group in my post. It's an easy way to constantly direct people out there. Um, I haven't done the post yet, but most launches I'll do a simple program like, you know, I start and I'll, I'll go back to 21 day fix, right? So like maybe I'll pull my first, tw my first 21 day transformation out and be like, this was the first program I ever started and finished. These were the results I got with my trainer back in 2014 and she is launching her 10th program next week. I'm creating a launch group. If you want to learn more about what it is or, you know, I guess can't try the sample. That makes me mad. But if you want to learn more about what the program is and come see what this launch party is all about, join this group. So again, I'm gonna to start to talk about other transformations. I can't share a nine week control freak, but I can show people what our programs have done. I can show people what the containers are. I can show people what other, other transformations, and I'll, and I'll use that in my stories, not necessarily on my page, but I'm gonna use that in my stories to promote the program and share what it's about. And I'm gonna create the hype around this group that I'm so excited to begin with the new program and the new trainer and the, container, the containers that got me started. And maybe you are like, well, I used to be mindset. So like containers aren't my thing, then talk about it in that way. She's still like, yes, Autumn is known for the containers, but the program comes with to be mindset. So maybe for you, yours is tweaked a little bit and you can talk about the same mindset focused nutrition program that I followed that helped me do X, Y, and Z comes with every package that you get with this program. So you're going to have to tweak it to be tailored to exactly how you yourself are leading your journey. But if you're excited now about what you're doing, and when you're talking about that and portraying it on social media, then the people will sense your excitement and they're gonna wanna do what you're doing. But I promise you, it is an over and over repetition activity. So I will be dropping that Facebook group link probably at least four times throughout the week on my Facebook for ways people can join. I'll have a call to action in my stories every single day in some form or fashion, because in 24 hours, it's gone. And while sometimes we think, well, I just posted something like that yesterday, most people don't watch stories every single day. And if they are watching your stories every day, then they probably like what they're seeing and eventually they're just gonna say, I'm gonna come with you. So don't feel like you're overdoing it. 
because then you can reuse your stories. You can pull the sizzle down from the back office. You can use the transformations. You can use little, you know, try out her summit workout. I got a little taste of what the program's going to be like, find the different ways to talk about it. But I really think that the consistency, like anything, right? Like the more you talk about it, the more interest you're going to have. But if you like maybe post about it tonight and then tomorrow and like nobody says a word about it, you're going to be like, nobody wants to do my group because it's the holidays and they're busy. So like this doesn't work like it did for her. So I'm out. Like you have to stay consistent. At this point, I've only promoted it to my customers. I haven't publicly talked about it. Last night I said you could join this info group. That was the first time I had talked about it. But I haven't made any public posts about it. I went first to the people who know and love and trust me who have already invested with me because they're probably going to do what I'm doing. So I started there. Um, the next thing I did, and I actually just did this this evening, is I sent an email to anyone who's bought Renews in December. So if you were around um, this time last year, chances are you have some bar blend people who bought in December. Um, I looked and I had a ton of people whose bod renewed on December 4th, um, December 3rd, December 4th, because so many people signed up with bar last year. That was a big program for me. So I had, I sent this email out. I think I had like 30 some people whose bod, whose bod was renewing next week. And four of them already answered back to me. Like I emailed them. And what I did in that email, you know what? can actually show you guys because I got a response back. So let me pull it up and I'll show you exactly how I worded it. That way I don't like paraphrase and say it wrong. Let me show you. She's the one who emailed me. There it is. Okay. So let me screen share. And I'll show you guys. So I do this every month. I just altered it this month because of nine week control freak. So I always send an email out to the people whose bod is renewing in the next month because my goal is to get them to buy a challenge pack, right? Like recommit, not just with bod, but I want them to buy the nutritionals. I want them to know whatever promos we have going on, whatever new products we're offering. So I always do it. I just changed it this month because I wanted to talk to them about the new program. So let me move this. Can you guys see that? that clear and I can probably like copy paste this whole thing in the chat bar but so I let them know their bot is about to renew this month now there was a time that I used to personalize every email and I'd be like Becky yours is going to renew on December 4th and you have a quarterly membership and then I'd be like Sarah yours is going to renew December 5th and you have an annual membership and honestly I just generalize it and I send one email out um so it doesn't say exactly when it renews um, or if they have the, the quarterly or the annual because it doesn't really matter. My point is I want them to go from a BOD membership to a full total, total solution. So I say, you know, to avoid any disruptions in your BOD access, if your BOD renews between this date and the release of our new program, you have this option. So I want to let, I, because again, I have so many people who's renewing now before the 7th. So I just tell them to let it go, let the auto, let the renew auto process. And then if you want the challenge pack, we'll work together to do that on the seven. Because it's easiest, like right now, if they cancel the renew, they would have to go four days without their bod. So I don't want them to have to do that. What they can do is let it renew on the third or fourth or fifth. Um, and then on the seventh, they can just, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I honestly don't know another way around it. They would request the, re, they would let Beachbody know that they want to upgrade to a challenge pack. So customer service will refund their $99 bod and then they can then purchase a challenge pack. So I always do this with the people who want to, you know, if there's in this instance where it's going to be an overlap. Um, so I let them know, here's your options with your bod. So we have the new program with nine week control freak. Um, during your purchase one. Oh, I kind of have that worded wrong. It really should clarify that's only, that's December 7th. So you can get the general idea. So my idea was that this would say December 7th, you know, if you're renewing before December 7th and the 21st, that's a coach window only. Obviously after the 21st, it's customers too, but you can get your, op you can get the gist. We can upgrade you to a discount coach. You can get access to the nine week control freak and 25% off future purchases. Your sign up fee is waived. There's no monthly order minimums. There's a $16 fee. Think of it like a Costco membership. You pay a small fee to save a lot more. So I just kind of use this image to show them, you know, here's what you would pay. Um, and then I show that I said, you know, the packages start at $199. And again, this would be for your annual BOD members. Um, and then I just have, this is some of the program info about nine week control break. All, option two is you can upgrade before it renews with just the annual all access. So that's just your 160 challenge pack option. 
So I let them know, you know, if you let Bod renew 99 for the year, 160 um, for the year if you're paying the quarterly for just Bod, or you can get the challenge pack for the same 160. So I kind of break it down in the words and show them this image. And then three is just let it auto renew as it is and you don't need to do anything. So it's letting them know that it's gonna renew. And sometimes people are like, oh my gosh, thanks for letting me know. I haven't used it, I don't want it. And you know what, if you don't want it and you don't use it, then I don't want you to pay for it either. So people appreciate the heads up, right? Like I don't want someone to get hit with a hundred dollar credit card charge today and like weeks before Christmas and be like, oh my gosh, like I didn't know that was coming. But I also want them to know that if they would like to take advantage of the, the amazing deals that we have, it's gonna save you more if you love Shakeology or you love these products, that you can get them at a discount. So I sent this email and then, you know, if you wanna upgrade, hit reply, type control, um, just so that I know what they wanna do. And then I'll just work, work through individually with them. So this is what I sent out today. Um, and I just went into my back office. You can filter by subscription renews and I just to see whose bod was renewing. So. Anyone who's newer, that's not going to apply to you yet, but it'll apply to you this time next year when we're launching another program and you have the opportunity to do that same activity. Um, or even if you have quarterly memberships or you, you can look as far as January to see who's renewing in January. At this point, I just did it for um, my December renews. And then the last thing is just timing. So I personally know that I'm not going to restrict myself in any way, shape, or form through the holidays, and I have no desire to do a program like all in through the holidays because that's just not me so while you could start obviously we can order the seventh they are assuring us shipping is going to be on track and they'll get the orders out within i think this is like two to three business i don't know did autumn talk about that like two to three days if they're in stock they should be out so ideally i expect everyone to have orders within like a week so you order the seventh you could arguably start the 14th but I wanna do this and when I take a day one picture, like I actually really want, not that I'll be perfect, but I, I don't wanna mess with like the holidays in the mix there. So I won't start my actual day one personally until January 4th. My control free group will start January 4th. I have my holiday group that anybody's welcome to join and that any of my customers can go into. What I'll do when this program launches on the 7th is I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about how excited I am to buy it. I'm going to share all my stories when I buy it. When it comes in the mail, I'll unbox it. And then anytime somebody purchases, I'll shout them out. This person bought, this person committed. And I'll build that hype. And I'll always ask that additional question. Do you want to do it too? You know, click the link in my bio to join here. Swipe up to get this info. So I'm going to continue to build that hype. Starting on the 14th, I'll start doing the workout. I call it my dabble. Like I'm not gonna actually like say this is day one, but I'm gonna begin doing some of the workouts because I've never done them. This will give me the opportunity to really show people what that control track is for, what that ball is for, how you use the step within the program. And then I'll kind of just dabble in that through the last three weeks of December, and then I'll go all in in January. That gives me the opportunity to snag the coaches who join, to get the people who join as a customer after the 21st, to allow everybody enough time to get their packages in the mail and have everything to start on January 4th. So that's kind of how I do it. Obviously, do it however it fits your schedule. Maybe you're like, I'm going all in December 14th. Holidays aren't gonna stop me. I'm gonna be that girl who is like, you know, 2AT and that's great. And if that's not you, then don't do it that way. Realize that you will get the best results when you do what actually makes you happy. Um, I will eat all of the cookies through Christmas and have zero guilt about it. So like, I won't even pretend like I'm gonna do it until January 4th. Um, so that's how I'll market it. And then it allows me to really, like, my goal will be to do like one big group for nine week control freak. One thing I hate to do is run a whole bunch of groups at once because then it's time consuming and it's confusing on where everybody is. So I'll run that starting January 4th and then I'll either start like, you know, I might wait like a week or two and like share the, the first, like here's the people's results from the beginning. And then like my February, I might be like, you wanna join us in February, you know, here's the group for that. But that is my launch plan. I will share with you guys the, that little image that I showed to see if there were any other questions. They have 300,000 packs. Oh, she said give it two weeks. Well, it's a good thing I wasn't planning on starting on the 14th. Um, Sonia, yes, I will order on the 7th. Like I'll order like the second that it becomes available, I will hit submit on that order. Um, and then I will just talk about it until I actually get it. And then when I get it, I'll keep talking about it. Because again, it's the repetition over and over again. And there are some people, like I got a message on December 1st from a girl who I've talked to, I don't know how many times, who was like, 
I'm tired of this. I'm starting right now. Like that's not typical, right? Like most people don't say on December 1st, like in the mix of the craziness of this world, I'm starting right now, but some will. So some are going to be like all in right now. Some people, I will tell you every single year, I get the biggest surge of customers from the 26th to like the 31st, even sometimes like right before Christmas, like whenever, like when they've done the shopping for everybody else and they haven't bought anything for themselves and they're stressed and they're like, I'm eating all the cookies and I'm doing all the things and I need something for me. And like, I actually remember being surprised at how many people would kind of come during that time, but don't count on it. What I want you guys to do is go on with that launch on the 7th. You know, build your hype up, get your success club points out of the way with a launch on the 7th and you can just enjoy the rest of the holidays. And when somebody messages you on like the 23rd or the 26th and it's like, I'm all in, you're like, cool, sweet. Here's your info. Come and join us. And you're not like, oh my God, I have to find three people to hit success club this month. It'll be a lot more enjoyable if you kind of get that done out of the way in the beginning and then you're not stressing about it later in the month. Um, the Shakeology Challenge Pack, it's $1.99. So that is $20 off. The, the price for it's $2.19. And then the $20 off is $1.99. So it's $1.99 for your, like, what, what's typically a $160 challenge pack is $1.99. Um, and then what was typically, like, your $130 completion pack is $1.69. So if the numbers are, like, $1.99 and $1.69 are going to be your new customers versus a um, completion pack. That I didn't scroll up the whole way. Were there any other questions that maybe I missed? Yes, I will give you graphics. I'll give you pictures of the graphics. Can we get copies of the graphics from the bot or no email? Yeah, I don't even know what we, well, oh, like what I actually used in it. I don't think my first email had any pictures. It was just about the program. The second was my transformation. And then the third was all about Elise. So I didn't really have any other graphics in I don't know, Alicia, if you're still on, if you want to specify if there was something specific. You're like looking. you had the graphic that was like just the breakdown of the Shakeology, like what it cost. Oh, oh, yeah. on that. okay. Yeah. I'm thinking you said Bob Renewal and I was thinking that drip one that I showed you with Bar Blend. I'm like, I didn't have one there. Yeah, no, I will drop those. I'll just, I'll put, um, I can always even just screenshot. The drips are weird. Like the emails you can't send, um, but I'll find a way to put that one. That's what, oh, my screen's not shared. But I see which one you're talking about. Yes, I will put that in something. Um, can peep, can we add people to the launch group if they're interested? I yes, I open my whole launch group to my team because in my like I'm gonna succeed when my team succeeds, right? So like when I run a launch group, it is downline wide. Like I don't care where you fall, I don't care who it is, I do it for everyone. Because then when they join, it's always like message the coach who invited you here. Um or tag the coach who invited you here or something like that. So when I do it, I do always, I do keep mine open to my whole group or my whole team. What happens to the info group after December 7th? So December, I will keep that info group going until I actually start the program. Um, in the past, I've actually used old ones over and over again. Like I think my one was MBF, that group has like 700 people in it. But because like, that's like what I've been adding to like launch after launch after launch. But what happens is like, you know, you're in a group for so long and you don't check any notifications, you don't see anything. So I was like, you know what, how about I start a fresh one? So I started a fresh group with this one. I don't know if the next program launch, if I'll add to it or I'll start a new one or what I'll do. Um, generally, I've always kind of kept them going for a couple programs. But I even like when Peppermint Mocha launched, um, not that there was a launch program at that time, but I went into that my last launch group and was like, hey, Peppermint Mocha is live. So I kind of used it as like a little bit of like an info place even beyond just this one group. Um, so the group stays there. My goal will be to, like I always shout people out in that group as they join. So like I'll shout them out in the group and then I shout them out on like my Instagram story. Like I make an image and put it in both places. So I keep, I do keep that group going. I'll, I'll keep it going probably pretty solid daily until January. Um, was there anything else? You get the email info from the back office. Yes, ma'am, I do. It's all like the same information. I just find different places. It's like, how many ways can I take the same information and put it in front of these people at different times? Because somebody might see it on Instagram. Somebody else is going to open an email. Somebody else is going to see it on Facebook. And I know like me personally, right? Like, you know, when you're shopping and like, you know, or like you're with a friend and they talk about like that sweater from, or like anthropology candles, because this happened to me. I love anthropology candles. So like I talk about it at a friend and it's like, oh, I have an email from anthropology candles. And then I see a Facebook ad for anthropology candles. And then I, you know, go here on Instagram and there's a sponsored ad for anthropology candles. And like the sixth time I see it, I buy like 10 anthropology candles. So kind of like, I have like that same mentality. Like 
people aren't going to see me post once about this program and be like, sweet, I'm in. They're going to need to see me talk about it in the email. Maybe they have to read the six, the four, the two, the day before the launch day email. They're going to have to see all these emails. They're going to have to see all these Instagram stories. They're going to have to see all this Facebook stuff about it. And when the time's right for them and their eyes catch it at that right magic moment, then they're like, okay, I'm in, but it's not going to be one. So, um, I do put the same information. I just, if you look in the back office where I showed you guys that um, product toolkit, there is a, a PDF within there that literally has um, like all of it, like what I had showed you. If you look at my blog post, my blog post is my full name, meganlink at .com. Meganlink.com is what it is. Um, the information that, that's there is primarily the information that I found. So you could kind of take that and kind of break that up into different places. I didn't find a ton of image that, images though, I'll be honest. I think that was all the comments. Any other questions? Do you ask if you can shout them out before joining? Typically, no. If somebody's super private, like if I know that they're a private person, I might ask them. But for the most part, I, I don't. I put Because if they're in the Facebook group, it's not going. They're already in there. So I'll shout them out and tag them there. Some people, I may not put it on Instagram stories. Like, I mean, you know, like the people who are like, they don't want anyone else to know that they're actually trying to do something to better themselves, but they're totally ready to commit with you. If I get that vibe from somebody, like, I'll just kind of keep that one to myself. But generally speaking, I don't ask, and I just shout them out anyways. Anything else? Megan, with that, I've been known to do just first names instead yeah, of tagging, first. like, the first name and last name. Yeah, I just do first names, and I'll hide their tag. Excuse me, I'll hide their tag. So I'll tag them in it. So it's really cool when you tag them and then they reshare it. You're like, sweet, that person's really excited. And you're like, oh my gosh, I saw you share that to your own stories. I'm so excited that you're joining. If you have any friends who want to come join it with you or if anyone asks you about it, feel free to send them my way or add them to the info group or whatever you want to do. But yeah, it's great when somebody actually, like somebody else, like reshares it because now you know like they're excited. They're not holding it to themselves. They're making it known that they're doing this. Any other questions? Um, when you do the 864 email, no, the content, I'll do different things. So again, like if you look, like it might be like, who is Autumn? Like Autumn created this program and this program and she's known for the ultimate portion fix. And you know, she became a trainer with Beachbody at this point. You can learn more about this new program here. Then the next one might be like, what is nine week control freak? You know, it's gonna be five days a week and the workouts are 18 to 30 minutes and here's the equipment that you need. And then the next one might be, but what kind of results can you expect? Okay, well, here's some people's, you know, test group stuff. So it's not the same information in the emails, um, but it's the same information that I've shared on all the different pieces. But I would just like take, like, if you take my blog post, break that into like, you know, four or five different emails. And again, if you're like, well, I just made a to-do list with 27 items on it and I feel totally overwhelmed, then take a step back. Go back to that launch party checklist that I'm gonna send you guys, and what do you need to do first? You need to make sure you have a place that people are gonna go. You need to make sure that you have a way to get information from people, like their email address, so that you can stay in contact with them. Because someone's gonna tell you today they're interested, and then you know life is gonna to happen tomorrow, and then it's gonna happen again next week, and then they're gonna forget all about that they said they were interested until January. But if you still have their email, you have a way to stay in contact with them. So the most important things are to have a place to put people. When people are interested, as you share it in different forms of social media, getting their email address so that you can stay in contact with them. If you don't have an email server and you're like drip campaign, cause that's how I was like the first time Mel shared on a call, like her automated drip campaign. And I was like, okay, Google, what's an automated drip campaign? And then I sat there forever trying to figure out how you create it. And it was like hours of getting nowhere and I felt totally overwhelmed. Then don't, just don't do that right now. Make a note, learn it when you have time. If you don't have the time right now, forget it. Send an email, create, grab everyone's email address, shoot them an email one day, like classic Gmail and BCC everybody, and let them know what the program is all about. So if you're overwhelmed, stop. Take a step back. I can see some people's faces like, you just told me way too much stuff. I'd rather give you more, and then you can pick and choose what you would like to do. Anything else? Well, if you have questions, feel free to shoot me a message, ask me what it is. Um, I will be happy to answer any questions that you guys have. But honestly, lean into it. Like program launches have boosted my volume and have boosted my commissions 
every single time because I launched them. And if you don't do anything, I promise you, it will not have any impact on your business. But if you do listen to what I said and shared, it really truly has the opportunity to change you. And when I, in 2016, went all in with that quarter force launch and talking about it and then following up and getting results and then being able to attract even more people in because my results were rocking. And then I realized how powerful a new program could be. I just rinse, wash, and repeat that same method that I started then every single program launch. And I don't dance and I don't care for Shanti's program in April, but I'm going to do this all over again. And I'm going to pretend like I can dance in whatever he showed in that. And I'll launch that program too, because program launches can really build the momentum and growth of your business. And I'll use that exact same checklist I showed you guys tonight. Um, Katie, that's a good question. P coaches that are pregnant, because she's like, I, I wasn't on her call, but isn't she like adamant? Like, if you are pregnant, do not do this workout. Yeah, I actually read that somewhere. I think it was in the round table group. Um, I'd say it's the same thing like anyone, like, right? Like if you had a baby today and you were six weeks without working out, you couldn't necessarily promote it. So you, what I would say with that is to team up with somebody else who's doing it and leverage their, you know, their, and talk about it. Be like, I cannot wait to do this program postpartum, but since, you know, because of the intensity or because of the restrictions or what, I don't know how autumn worded it. Um, but I know that so many of my friends are going to love this because it's only five days a week. You're always less than 30 minutes. And there's going to be so many, like you like, talk about how excited you are. Like, even if you can't do it, you know, like I didn't do 30 day breakaway, but I still launched it. I mean, like I, 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 I bought it. I did one strength workout and that was it. Cause I can't run and I didn't try to run. So I, but I still launched it. So I would just say like, even if you're not doing it, like create the group, promote the program. Um, and, no, I mean, no one necessarily needs to know publicly that she's not doing it. She could go in her launch party and say, I'm super excited to share this program with you guys. I was so bummed whenever Autumn shared that she doesn't want pregnant. You know, if you're pregnant, they don't want you to do it. So while I'm personally not going to be doing it, I'm going to be coaching you through every step of the way because I too am following Ultimate Portion Fix. And the nutrition plan that I'm following is going to be the same exact one you're doing. We're just going to be doing different workouts. Like I think you can, it's definitely harder. Like it definitely gives you like a little like, you know, a little more a hurdle to overcome. I don't think it's impossible. I would team up with somebody else who's not pregnant, who's going to be rocking it and doing it. And then I would just tweak the way you're marketing it. Not like I wouldn't come out and be like, I'm not doing this program, but I think you should. I would just market the program, like how excited you are about Autumn's new program. And then like do a live video and talk, you know, like title it, is this safe for pregnant women? And give Autumn's language and your personal, here's what I'm going to do type of thing. Prenatal programs or 21 day fix. Anything else? Okie dokie. I'm going to go tuck my babies in bed. Have a wonderful night. And again, honestly, if you guys have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Good night.